change of plans when you're homesteading or farming heck i guess just general life you got to learn to pivot how's my big girl how's my big girl doing Elvira, our Cooney Cooney is pregnant, so baby watch. Oh boy. So that means that portable other chicken coop that I'm building is gonna take a back seat because we need to make something for Elvira and the babies to come. If you remember my big pig shelter that I built at our one and a half acres, this is what I'm basically building except a smaller version that I can move. I got two of these brooders done because we have 75 chickens coming next week. I started making another Siskovich style chicken tractor. And I was gonna turn it into that. Now, I'm gonna turn it into a pig tractor. Elvira, there's a banana. Zeke baby. Zeke baby, here's a banana. The tarp works for chickens, but for pigs, you know, they, they see the tarp and it's like noisy and crinkly. And once they get curious, they start ripping at it because pigs and tarps do not mix. But when you throw some hay in here, you know, they'll use it for a shelter. And, you know, coonies are gentle. They're, they're not, you know, because we're gonna need this shelter for our meat chickens. We think she's due in about a week. You know, hard to say, but we're just trying to prepare for that. Let's see. I feel them kicking. Just kidding. <laughs> Having these movable chicken coops has helped us move pigs in them. And I've always wanted to make one strictly just for pigs. The one I'm gonna build is for our Cooney Coonies, so those are a different breed compared to our three feeder pigs. Hey pigs. I got some scraps. Hey pigs. We have about a month and a half and these guys are gonna be part of our pig butchery workshop that we're having here. It's gonna be a two day workshop and one of the bigger events that we have here on our homestead. I gotta add a piece in here because there's a gap. Rather, I could just fill it in with the wire. For the top of this shelter, I'm using three quarter inch EMT and we need to bend this to make kind of like a, like an arch. The way I do it is with a bootstrap farmer hoop bender. This one is for six feet. So that means that that hoop is going to be six feet apart. And then this one right here is a four foot one. I also have a 14 foot wide bender and that's how I built my large hoop houses in the past. I measured nine inches from the end here and then we're gonna bend it every 18 inches. You also wanna mount this bender up high enough so that way you can get the leverage. And then we're just gonna pull down on it. You could also use this six feet hoop bender to make low tunnels for your garden. And then towards the end, it comes with this cheater bar. So you gotta stick this in there. It gives you a little bit more leverage to pull down.
so we move pigs in a coop like this and we sometimes leave it for them for shelter. I do notice that the entryway here on these coops, they'll rub up against these like to scratch themselves. So I'm gonna add kind of like a diagonal brace right here just to give it the entryway some more support. Elvira, our Cooney Cooney, is pregnant. And we just noticed that she has something wrong with her eye. I think maybe an eye infection. What's up, girl? See a little, there's a little bit of pus there. All right. We're just wiping it with the warm cloth. It doesn't, I don't see any like swelling or redness. I'm surprised she's that <laughs> Okay, you're all clean now. It doesn't look red, her no. eye, her eyeball. Oh, <laughs> she didn't like that. What'd you spray it? It's just colloidal silver. I think it just because it... There you go. You're good. Let's fill it for the babies. Let's see if she wants to be petted today. I feel I'm kicking. No, you don't. Do you really? <laughs> no. According to our calculations, she should be due... On Tuesday. Tuesday? This yeah. week? I hope she knows that we love her. <laughs> Even though we were going to sell her last month. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get in there. I get in there. You got to get in there. <laughs> Building a structure like this is very much custom. You kind of figure it out as you go. So this round part is going to sit right on top of that. This is the, the doorway. I'm going to secure this top with these angle brackets, but I have to bend them. We're almost done with this pig shelter, and now we're kind of using what I have on hand. And I have corrugated white plastic, and then I have this weed barrier plastic that we use to kill weeds. We also use it for our gardens when we want to uh, cover our gardens and kill an area. I'm gonna use the wide track chick lift wheel system, and this is absolutely the best most heavy duty wheel system for portable structures like chicken coops, pig shelters. So right here we're having, uh, this is called like a, a channel lock, like wiggle wire. Typically you'll see this in greenhouses and this is how they secure the plastic. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna secure the top part and I'm still gonna use that plastic and use the wiggle wire. I found this excess piece that we saved and we're just gonna see if it's white enough. It does, it's a blackout so we wanna put the uh, the white facing up. Yeah. And then you just pop in that wiggle wire right in there and it sandwiches the plastic and it holds it in place. And if we do it right, we can pull it really tight and it, so it makes it super sturdy. This will also eliminate you drilling holes into this and hopefully save the plastic and no zip ties. Now we're sealing up the outside and you know, 
You gotta think there's gonna be piglets in here. Now that we have our shelter built, we need to move them out, Zeke and Elvira, and then move them to a new spot. I initially started building this structure for more meat chickens, because those are coming next week. But being that Elvira is due pretty much any week now, we needed something for her and the piglets. So rather than build something new, I decided to turn the chicken coop I was building into a portable pig shelter. Something that I can put a door on it, and if I wanted to contain them in there and move them, I could. We're gonna sleep in there tonight to test it out. With Elvira. <laughs> We need to put a lot of um, hay because there's like a little ditch and I would be worried it would fill up with water if it were. So we're supposed to have some good rain on Sunday. We are still gonna keep both of these separate while she has her babies. <laughs> Come on, Zeke. <laughs> wow, Zeke, wow. He just busted through that. There you go. Come on, big girl. This way. <laughs> the chicken's following too. New grass. Oh, she wants the greens. She wants all those fresh greens. I've got some apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna put this in her water. This is gonna be like an electrolyte, kind of kill any bacteria, maybe an infection that she might have. There's your maternity ward. There's your new home, Elvira. Oh yeah. This netting is for little piglets because it's got the little squares down here and then the squares get a little bit bigger up as you get higher. I wanted to make this where we could actually get into it if we need to. And then I could hang a, hang a heat lamp in here if I wanted to. You know, something that we could just get in and out of. All of this for you, Ovara. You better have piglets. You better be a good mom. <laughs> Zeke. You got your home back, Zeke. I'm really happy how this portable pig tractor turned out. It's something I want to do for a long time. And I guess we'll see, you know? I really hope that Elvira gives us piglets. Everyone's saying she's pregnant. And now we just have to wait and see when that happens. Should happen this week, maybe this week or next week. I'm hoping that by me doing these build videos, it gives you guys some ideas whether you build this exact same thing or not but maybe give you different ideas of how to build this type of structure and then in the future i plan on doing um diy plans of this you know at first i like to see how it goes see how it works out and then also i still need to build another chicken tractor so these little structures keep going and one thing we do like having here is movable structures for our animals because that gives us uh options they're not going to stay one spot we're always going to move them around and they're going to continue to work our soil fertilize our soil and help us work the land but thank you guys for watching and we're on baby watch here and we'll see you guys on the next one